This is Landon's all-time favorite thing in the world. He's I know it's nobody's fault, but I have never paid so much money to sit and do nothing in my life. Oh! Go! Go fast! We haven't even done half of the things we want to do today. And I don't know if we're going to make it. Yo, is it Harry? not to scream because they're in the hotel room. That wasn't too loud, that was good. That was good, they did really good. It was kind of a little scary, but they did really good. Choir. It did sound like a choir. If you are not able to tell, we are headed off to Universal Studios Orlando slash Islands of Adventure this morning. Ready? Whoa, uh oh. <laughs> it doesn't work like it says in the movie. Try it again, ready? <laughs> He's trying to get in there. Oh, 93 quarters right there. It's right there. Let's go, let's go, 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 go. <laughs> we are running a little bit behind this morning. I don't know if you guys were, if I showed the bus line yesterday, but this line was wrapped through and through and through and through and through and through. By behind though, I don't really mean behind because uh, the hotel we're staying at, you're able to enter the park an hour early and it seems like everybody aims to do that. We're actually right on time for park opening. It's 8.30, it opens at nine and it's like a five minute bus drive. So we'll get there right when it opens. So we may actually be onto something here by not trying to get down here early because there's no line to get there. However, there'll probably be a bigger line to get into the park because everybody else will be getting there at nine. Anywho, it doesn't matter, but that's where we're headed. You should start charging for your, the lessons. Lilia and Mimi are, she's probably the biggest Harry Potter fan, but she's the second biggest Harry Potter fan, fan of the bunch. She is the tallest also. Multiple times. <laughs> well yeah, she read the books and saw the movies. Could be found in Dr. Seuss land. We've got a couple of loose Hogwarts, Hogwarts students, but we have officially made it into the park. And whoa, again, we've never been here before. Yesterday was our first day, and this park is so stinking cute. I honestly like this park so far, so far more than I like the other one. But we'll see. I don't know as the day continues. First things first, though, we have a just just a couple kids who are excited to see Harry Potter. They've been begging since yesterday. Harry so we are making our way towards. The Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I think that's what it's called. You're a wizard, Harry. We made it, and the kids all have their wands. We went to the store last night to get their wands. What's really cool about these is that they're interactive wands, so you can actually go around the park and then like, do a spell, some kind of spell. AKA, there's a little, let me see, there's a little sensor on the end of the wands like such, and I guess there's like a camera or something in there, I don't know, and it follows the wand and it'll actually do things. It'll show you like how to do the spell, and when you do it, it'll work. So they've all got their magical little spells. Oh, I remember learning a spell last time, and this was my favorite spell. Can I borrow your wand for a second? Ready, kids, kids. Silencio, silencio. <laughs> Did it work? Did it work? Okay, talk. Everybody talk. Talk, talk, talk. Are you ready? Silencio. Wait, no. Silencio. Why is it not working? Silencio. Silencio. God dang it. This one doesn't work. Yours is broken. She put a defiant spell on herself. A defiant spell on herself. These things don't work. So how you really do it is there's these little markers on the floor. Oops. Who put a spell on me to make me drop my water? There's a little marker on the floor. It tells you what the spell is and how to do the motion with your wand. So you stand there, you do the motion with your wand. <laughs> We're having a lesson over here. Okay, try it again. Incendio. And then when you do that, it'll make these windows do something epic.
I'll be right here. Okay. Do I show you this? Once the train's here, yeah, can I see it? Yep. How many do we have? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that eight of us? Yeah. Thank you. Oh my god, this is epic. Mom, I hit my funny bone. And oh, ow. Funny. And it's not very it's funny. funny. for everyone else. There's a ride that is like virtual queue only. And let me tell you, this is very different from Disney's virtual queue. I couldn't figure out how to use it. It took us all day yesterday, we had no idea how to use it. I even asked, um, I asked people who worked here and they couldn't tell me how to use it. They didn't know how to use it, the few people that I asked. But apparently this is how you use it. Instead of like going on the app and clicking like to get in line, you actually walk to the ride itself or you find like a random thing around the park that happens to have a QR code. And then with that, you scan your phone on the QR code and it takes, it opens up a different browser and then you from there access tickets that way and then it tells you like how long you have um if you can get tickets so we were able to get tickets they told us that it refreshes every 10 minutes to get more tickets because we did it first and we were like oh shoot it looks like they're gone for the day but that's not the case it refreshes every 10 minutes so you just keep pushing refresh we eventually got one we had to wait about two and a half hours so that we can be sure and to get all students through we're now here the only thing is is that we have obviously never been here before and I've never even like watched videos on it, so I have absolutely no idea what this, ro this ride is except for the picture on the thing. And now we're walking up and we're realizing that it's a roller coaster. So luckily we have our coaster kids with us because I kind of figured it would be that way because the, it's a, the, the height is 48 inches and up and usually that means it's thrilling. And the only kids who go on thrilling rides with us at all, out of all of the 10 kids, are my five boys. <laughs> None of the other ones can or want to do it. This is our thrill ride group right here. We've got the two men, the five boys, and then me. Jelly beans. beans. Every flavor beans. Are they are some good, some bad, or are they all bad? They're all good. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. Bad liar, bad liar, bad liar. Oh. <laughs> Addie picks them out. Try one and tell me what it is. No, no, no. Do it. I'm trying to get the blue. The blue is my fingernail. <laughs> Silly. It's my fingernail. I was like, he's trying to grab it, and I was like, it's, you're grabbing my finger. Try it, ready? Set. Kaden's brave. What color what does it was taste it? like? 
You don't have to hold my What color was it? It's like grayish. Oh, gray and white? Yeah, I think so. And what does it taste like? It's kind of milk. What is it? Pepper. <laughs> it's pepper. <laughs> Wait, what one is that? Wait, pepper. I'll let Dad try one. Addy, pick these out. Go get a drink. Go get a drink. Addy, look at Daddy's gonna try one. Tell us what color. Oh, from the bag. Yeah, Addy wanted you guys to try these ones. She just looked at the pretty colors and was like, this one, this one. I don't trust one. any of this. <laughs> I need you. You shouldn't. It tastes like vomit, right? What is it? What is it? <laughs> what is it? Is it buttered popcorn? You are lucky. I believe that. Let me get this. Is it popcorn? It's popcorn. Oh Kaden got something. Oh, he got pepper. Did you taste one? All of these are good. That's good. Yeah, I taste bubble gum. That one was good. Oh, she tastes bubble gum. What do you have? A chocolate frog? Yeah, that never breaks. Are you going to eat it? No, let me give you never breaks. Oh, is it? No, it's, no, you can't. It's chocolate. You're supposed to eat it. You can't keep it as a pet. Oh, it'll never break. Says never break. Oh, okay. And you got a Dumbledore card. One, two, three. Kaden, you're brave. He keeps trying them all. I love it. Did you do it? Oh, you tasted it. No good. Try one. Tommy's gonna try one. Try this one, Addy. <laughs> he's like, I don't trust you. Okay, ready? Try it. What is it? Look at you. He's like, yeah, dirt flavor. Oh! No. This one? Okay. That's not too bad. Too. Like there's bubble gum, strawberry. Uh, oh, it smells. It smells like ginger. Ginger? Guess what? Guess what? It's a worm. Lily, 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 because I'm a fountain. They won't let me in. And besides, I support them too much. Where are you from, Lilia? Sacramento, California? Oh, that's really far away. That's like on the other side of the world. <laughs> Magic. I need everybody to back up like three feet. One, 
two, three. Now, if you don't back up, I'm not going to be responsible for your crying. <laughs> Hands in the air, straight up. And if you have a wand, you can point it at me. Say, Aguamenti. Aguamenti. being a librarian. She's like, I'm just too I'm tired. Six, well, of course, you have to be five next, I'm but five, I anticipate the same energy in five. <laughs> so, Adeline, show me your hand, and I'll tell you about yourself. Hold your show hand your hand. Up. Show your hand. Adeline likes macaroni and cheese <laughs> oh, and true. stuffed animals. What? <laughs> How did she know you? <laughs> I know, I'm very smart. I'm the fountain. <laughs> oh my God. I have ESPN. My father is a rolling stone. Uh, <laughs> okay, what's, is that the dude in the Ravenclaw shirt? What's your name in the Ravenclaw t-shirt? Kaden. <laughs> Alright, let me see your hand. Oh, there's the mic. <laughs> Kaden likes pizza and video games. <laughs> 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 He likes Minecraft and Roblox. I don't know. Oh no! I, he's, I know he's over 48. All right, we're in Landon Town here. This is Landon's all-time favorite thing in the world is dinosaurs, Jurassic Park, everything about it.
<laughs> okay, those are some silly slushy faces. <laughs> What does it mean? That I can go on it whenever I want. I can just get the line. And whenever what? When I'm tall enough. When you're tall enough, right? Joined by a party of up to five there people. Entrance to Jurassic World Velocicoaster. And gain priority admission. That's so cool. <laughs> saw the paper, I didn't read it yet. Landon's absolute favorite thing in the entire world is... Dinosaurs. And I couldn't tell. And the one thing, the one thing he wanted to do was the dinosaur roller coaster, because he loves roller coasters. And the height requirement is 51 inches, and he's like 49. He's like so close. So... Wore the wrong shoes today. <laughs> it's not safe. So they went to measure him, and he was like, because you know how he is, he'll yeah. like, go do it, and then he pretends like he's not sad, but he goes into a corner and started crying, and the lady saw him cry, and she went over, she brought this to him, and it says when he when he's tall enough, he can get a pass to the front of the line. That's With a party of five. With a party of five. Can I be your friend, dude? Can I be your friend? Okay, now, why I'm pretty sure that you Five. Can we change the five? Can we put, I'll print it with a one in front. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna Photoshop a 15. <laughs> wait, That's pretty wait, cool. Wait, where'd you get this one? <laughs> and that, that was really cool because it immediately like cheered him up a little bit. Yeah. But now he's realizing that a lot of the roller coasters here he can't go on. So like a whole week. Yeah. Oh, is that what you were looking at? Yeah. So I'm looking up the other heights now because this kid will do anything that he's allowed to do. Yeah. He loves it. Like uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, like drop zone stuff, he'll do all of it. And he can't, he's not big enough to do things here. And he wants to do that. Wait, wait, do it. Does it go on hands? Wait, we can use fast press. Five other people. Oh, so it doesn't count him? It doesn't count him. Okay, one. They're already planning it. This is like a couple years from now, but we can't lose this piece of paper, okay? This is a special piece of paper. We lose it, it's done. If we lose it, it's done. Yeah, we should frame it in your room. You have a dinosaur room. We could put a frame around it and put it up on the wall, and we can measure you every day until you, and how about this? When you, when you hit 51 inches, Velocicoaster is experiencing a brief delay in operation. Nothing to fear. We apologize and thank you for your patience. The universe is on your side. The universe says it doesn't want us to do. It said there's a there's a delay. When you're 51 inches, maybe we could plan a trip here and we can go on this coaster. How does that sound? Yeah. Where are you at right now? 
I don't know, we're just getting out of line. Are you coming back to the entrance? Uh, we're going out to the exit, I think. Yeah, we're going out the exit. Okay, I'm running the entrance. Okay, okay, bye. I know it's nobody's fault, but this weather sucks. That's the one thing that California will always have. Like, maybe we, it was so cute. She was like, maybe we should go back to the hotel. The way she said it was so cute, starting to rain. The one thing that California will always have over Florida for their theme parks is weather. Like, I have never paid so much money to sit and do nothing in my life. They just close everything down. Like I think he said there was like six rides that are still open, but like everybody, there's like how, there's gotta be like what, 60,000 people in this park and they have like six rides open. <laughs> I'm not complaining, I'm just venting for the record. I'm not complaining, just venting. Like, oh my gosh, like this weather. No one can control it. Just, fired. Fired. just frustrating. California theme parks for the win. It's a little fan. What? Oh, there's another flash. Oh. Okay, go fast, go. She says, Christ, I'm so scared of this. This is Ryan. Woo, and there's, there's dinosaurs and thunder. Man, this is just... <laughs> Warning, you may get wet. Yes, I am well aware. Go, go fast. Yeah, Oh, there it is. All right, let's go under something. We haven't even done half of the things we want to do today. Hey, um, so you're talking about going hotel, back or? over the door, right? So you're going to go to the hotel. There's all those restaurants right there, too. Right? Dude, Rosalind's not going to believe us. This is snake. Don't get close to it. Kaden. Since everything else is closed, we haven't found much to do except pick up food on the side and we're going to, no, yeah. We're going to, she said it, we're going to hop on the Hogwarts Ready. Express. I need your parking uh, pass, Okie dokie. It looks like it's raining. Oh wait, it is raining. <laughs> Well, that's not rain, that's mist, but it was raining. Oh my God, things are getting confusing. Like 40 minutes to park closing and it looks like the skies are finally clearing up a little bit. Hey, I think, you guys know that. this one does? Yeah. Well, why are we leaving? It seems like what their rule is, is that it has to be 30 minutes after the last lightning strike, like for safety reasons, because lightning is something you do not want to mess with. I'm actually terrified of it. I read some comments on my last um, not my last, but the last video I posted right now. It was one of our first vacation videos, and people were telling me all of the reasons to all, because it was when we were like, uh, we don't know anything about, the, like, lightning. Like, are we freaking out for no reason, or is this, like, something to actually be scared of? And everyone was telling me how terrifying it actually is, so now I'm even more terrified than I originally was. So anyway, we found something that is open, and that is the Hogwarts Express. This is something that we really wanted to do. We just haven't, like, had an opportunity to, opportunity to do it. I would say if we came back, we should probably like spend another day here at these parks. We did not get nearly anything done that we wanted to get done. Most of it was due to weather stuff, but you know, that's just something that you have to take into consideration when you're coming places like this. So it looks like there's like a 20 minute wait to get on this ride. And I forgot what I was gonna say. My brain is starting to die. Whoa, this is the Hogwarts train. Oh, we're getting separated because we're too big of a group. My, oh, my Harry Potter lover is going without me. Oh, it worked! Go 
Look, I said. <laughs> go, Eddie, go. Oh, Caden's turn. He's in. Lilia, let's see. <laughs> and they're in. They made it to Hogwarts. Oh, wait, you're just right here. Bubbles. We have 20 minutes before this park closes, and we're going to try to run to Minions, and it started pouring rain, and I don't know if we're going to make it. Did you need help putting the hot like this? Huh? Luckily, I remembered at least some of the ponchos today. Update, the rain has somewhat passed. When we finally got all the ponchos on it, calmed down, and we have 15 minutes to get to Minions, and I don't even know if they will let us ride it. We decided that Minions would be a good ride to end things on, because we, we didn't get a chance to do it, and it's something that everybody can do, and that everybody actually enjoys, or I think they'll all enjoy it. The only thing is, is that I know Disneyland, as long as you get to a ride before closing, they'll allow you to do it, but I don't know if it's the same for this park. I have no idea. They might We might get there, and it'd be before nine, and they say, oh, no, sorry, you can't get in line, because it is a 40 minute wait. But I guess we'll see. We are 15 till now, and just crossing our fingers that whew, that they will let us get on the ride. I bet you everybody had the same idea that we did because this line looks pretty long. It is 8:49, so let's see if they let us get in line. Hello, we made it. They let us in. Yay! 